Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Master here, and today in this video, um, the reason why the camera is shaking is because we are actually reviewing LEGO Dimensions. That is right, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, guys, so today we are reviewing LEGO Dimensions Starter Pack. This is the, um, the pack that, um, of course, you need to play the game because it comes with the game and the portal and the toy pad and um, the three main characters that are in this game. So let me go ahead and start off with the box. I will show you all of the sides of the box. And so this is the front. And let's go ahead and flip. Whoop. Let's go ahead and flip that to the back. I just hit the back of the thing and that wasn't good. Um, here's all the things that we can build for Batman. So we have... The, see the Batmobile, the Bat Blaster, and the Sonic Bat, Bat Tray thing. So that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of other stuff and fun stuff. So here's one side. Here's the left side of the box. The right side. And, okay. Let's turn that over. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a better. There we go. Uh, as you can see here, we can see all the lego fun packs and all the other things for dimensions and go ahead and feel free to pause the video whenever you want but this is what we will get in different waves and then on the bottom there's just a bunch of boring text so uh yeah let's go ahead and see if we can get to the finished product i mean yeah i'll show you in the finished product stuff cool all right guys so here we have the actual lego set of the lego dimension starter pack it's the portal and the toy pad and everything so i will go ahead and show you um i will show you the minifigs and the um the vehicle in which in this case for right now the batmobile so i will show them to you separately let's go and take them off uh yeah put them aside and i'll throw the cord aside like that and that is the cord for um, to plug into the console that you are playing on, and yeah, this is the toy pad. Now, this is a very interesting con concept. I like that this is um, it's interactive, that you need to use the toy pad, aka the portal, with um, virtually and physically, which is cool. And so, uh, yeah, so there is the center spot, the left and right spot over there. And some, some nice sticker detailing. Um, let's go ahead and take that up. There we go. It's very, very nice over there, there, and there. It just looks very techy and cool. So that's that. Um, there are also some more stickers over there. There were like only five stickers, so if you're not a big fan of stickers, that's okay. And there's lots of transparent uh, blue and purple, but mostly blue. But like the aqua blue. Alright, so I'm going to give you... Um, all the angles, and in the back, we have all our keystones. Now, these keystones, what they do is that they allow you to, um, have, like, special abilities. For example, I think this one is size. You can change it to different sizes, like big or small. And then, uh, I think this one is for elements, like you can have the water element, the fire element. Stuff like that. And so that is pretty cool. And so then here is the other side. And yeah, we go back to the front. And then it says Lego right over there. So yeah. And I really do like these little portally prong things. They make it look like the portal is just activating, which is awesome. And so uh, yeah, these clips are where the keystones go. And they are basically just translucent purple shields. And so, yeah, I think that's it for the portal. And I will show you guys the minifigs. Alrighty, guys. So, first we are starting off with Wild Style. And she is from the Lego Movie theme. And um, the Lego Movie hasn't come out with any new sets because there's only been one movie. But I did hear online that they will be making another one in 2017. So, that's pretty cool. Um... She has a brand new face. She has the same torso and body with the hood um, extension piece. And she has her um, accessory. And for all the kits and such, the, the level packs, 
Basically, all the characters in LEGO Dimensions will have an accessory, and her accessory is, uh, let's see if this camera can even focus. Come on, camera, do it. Focus. Thank you. It says detecting relic. So basically, this is just a relic detector, and I'll pop that right back into her hand. If I see if I can even do this. Come on. There we go. All right. Cool. And so that's her. I'm going to go ahead and take her off her toy tag. Yeah, it's called a toy tag because this is what you put on the toy pad. And she has hers specially marked and all that data in those lines down there at the bottom. Since this thing is translucent, you can see that um, all the voices and pretty much everything gets loaded up in the video game. And it's all saved in that in those lines. And yeah, she, it says Wild Style right there with the W and S. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to Gandalf. Uh, yeah, here's him. He looks pretty cool. Although, yeah, he's... Oh, no. Gandalf, are you okay? Yeah, uh, I hope he's fine. All right, cool. So anyway, Gandalf right here. Go ahead and give you a 360 look at him. Looking very nice indeed. Alright. Um. Great cape. Uh, not any detailing on the cape, but yeah. He has a gray hat, the regular pointy hat. Now, there's nothing different to this either in all the Lord of the Rings sets. He's pretty much the same. Uh, I think so. And, uh, yeah, there's no new printing, no new face, no nothing. And so I'll go ahead and take him off, take off, oh no, I don't want to take off his hat. Uh, I'll go ahead and take off his toy tag, and his is very gray and has the sim his symbol, and so uh, yeah, and he also, in his accessory is a staff, his wizard staff, and over here, we finally have the last character, which is Batman, and... I don't know, he's on the front, so I would kind of call him the main character. I don't know, but I would just, uh, per preferably, I would call him the main character in this theme-ish. I don't know if LEGO Damage is even a theme, because it's crisscrossing theme, so, yeah. Here is the Batman Cheer. He is in his modern day suit. I don't, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of Batman, so I do not follow him, like, in the history and stuff. But, he looks the same out of some sets. Uh, he comes with, um, two batarangs. One of them is an extra piece. I just put both in his hands. And he does come with his regular Batman cape, where the edges are cut off. So it's pointy in the back, looking like a bat's wings. And he has his face right over there. Go ahead and remove his mask and show you what that looks like. Uh, she does have a white band, but that's only for his eyes because the Batman mask has a very has very tall um, eye pieces, but it's just tall, and so that's his, that's his normal face. And then this face, it makes him look happy and smiley and stuff. Oh no, everything's just falling off and shit off. Yeah. So that's Batman, and I forgot to mention that Wildstyle also has a secondary face. So let's go ahead and pop her her head off, and I will show you what I mean. This is her angry face. Yeah, and I'll show you what that looks like. So yeah, that's Wildstyle. That's her angry face, and then this face, why does all the characters have to fall off? This is her happy face. So, finally, last but not least, we have our Batmobile. Yeah, that's right, guys. The Batmobile. And before I do that, I just completely forgot something. Batman, what about your toy tag? Oh, here's your toy tag. Bam. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess they didn't paint that part. Um, I haven't even looked at that. I didn't notice that until now. Okay. But, yeah, that is his toy tag it's pretty cool right so all of them are like i don't know what color i would call them 
just light trans blue, all the toy tags. And so this is the Batmobile, as you can see here. It is a micro scale because they don't want it to be too big. Because when you do rebuild it, um, you don't want too many pieces to rebuild and it'll take a longer time. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take it off its toy tag, but it really doesn't have its own toy tag. But even if you do take it off its stand, it's still very, very good because it can still be used as a toy, like so. But these, um, whoop, uh, these, they're basically blank. So I don't know how it works, but when you need to, when you put it in a specific order or something, you can put in the toy tag and that will be, um, it'll say if you want to write that toy tag to be the Batmobile or Benny Spaceship or whatever vehicle you're trying to spawn in. Or, yeah, I don't know how it works really, but I do know that there's a system and these are just written blank, but, oh no, okay, whoops, but yeah, that's that, it really isn't marked with anything. So, that's it, guys, for the figures. I will go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff. Alrighty, guys, so, first of all, I have this. This is all the extra pieces that I that um, I got. Uh, I got one brick separator and then a lot of other pieces. And I'm glad I got an extra battering. Uh, I don't know why. I, it just seems cool. Uh, yeah, and then, why can't I pick this up? Well, basically, the translucent purple stud. And we never gotten that. And it's also a tile as well. Yeah, so that's cool. And then, we got the game. It's right over there, that's the game. And what's cool about it is that it comes with a poster. So, um... I don't know if this is even going to fit the camera. Uh, nope, I don't think it will. Well, let me go ahead and show you right now. Alrighty, guys, so here's the poster. Look at all of these themes. Uh, we have DC Comics, Lego Movie, Wizard of Oz, Lord of, Ring, Lord of the Rings, Back to the Future, Scooby-Doo, Portal, The Simpsons, Jurassic Park, I mean World, because they made both movies, Leo Ninjago, Doctor Who, Chima, Ghostbusters, and Midway Arcade. All of those themes in one big theme. Or, I don't know if this really is a theme. But yeah, look at all of those team packs, fun packs, and level packs. Three types of sets. So, uh, yeah, guys, I will show you all the stuff that comes with it. And on the back there is nothing. Alrighty, guys, so here is everything that comes with the starter pack. We have our LEGO Dimensions box, and it actually is just the LEGO set itself. A new box for that. The instruction booklet, all the extra pieces, and the brick separator. The toy pad, the portal, and the figures, including the Batmobile, um, the poster, the game, of course, and the actual big box that comes with all of this. So, yeah, guys, I really think you should get this game because this is a lot of fun. Just itself, you don't even need to get that many, you don't even need to buy any of the fun packs because this itself, look how much stuff that is. I think you'd have enough fun for a long period of time with all of this. And so, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for tuning in. This is Zone Master. I'm now. Peace out, guys.